You might remember Zulfir Chinchana of Kazakhstan for one of two reasons. To you, she's either the athlete who won the Olympic Games in 2012 and then got popped, or she's the athlete who won three world championships, 2009, 11, and 14. Either way, she's certainly one of the more decorated, well-known weightlifters in the world, most recently taking the bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. But one of the things I thought was interesting is whilst I was talking about Lesmond Paredes and Gormanassian switching countries, someone commented saying that the same thing had happened with Zulfir Chinchano. And I'd heard rumours of this. I'd heard people mention that she was, you know, initially Chinese or, you know, she used to compete for Team China or something like that, but I'd never actually seen any evidence for it. So I looked into it because I was a little bit interested in, in how all this works. So here's what I can tell is that ultimately Zulfir at least according to China, was born in China and grew up in the Hunan province. And the, the reason for this was because her dad actually worked within China. And then supposedly in 2008, on a five-year lease contract, she moved to Kazakhstan to start competing for Kazakhstan. And it was there that she, you know, got her first world championships in 2009 and 11. And then... In 2012, she returned to China, and China claimed that this was because it was the end of that five-year lease contract, and that at this point she was basically returning to go and compete with Team China on the Chinese national team. And that was due to this, uh, at least allegedly, expired contract with Kazakhstan. But Kazakhstan sports authorities, and also Zulfir Chinchano, insist that this isn't true. So the authorities from Kazakhstan basically claim Zulfir Chinchano as their own sportswoman, and they apparently don't understand why China would basically be claiming, or as they refer to them, foreign media, would be claiming that actually Zulfir was changing her citizenship and that she's actually Chinese. And they say that the actual reason that Zulfir Chinchano moved back to China in 2012 was purely to visit her relatives, and after a short break she was going to come back and train for the World Championships, in Kazakhstan for 2014, uh, and of course the next Olympic Games. That's what Kazakhstan said, and even Zulfir Chinchanlo kind of says something similar. She says that everything that has been written, in fact, quote, I would like to say that everything written about me in China is not true. I've proved it by coming back to Kazakhstan and being here right now. So that's kind of interesting. They also basically deny that Zulfir Chinchanlo's father had almost anything to do with China, and they even say that Zulfir was born in Almaty, Kazakhstan, rather than having grown up in China. And to this day, all of these different parties uh, disagree as to kind of the origins, I suppose, of Zulfir Chinchana. What's interesting is that at this upcoming Asian Championship, she's going to be returning, competing for Kazakhstan against a couple of other Chinese 55 kilo lifters, Long Shui and Yu Long Long. So Zulfir's put in a 220 entry total, and the two Chinese lifters have put in 215, but we know that they're both capable of hitting big lifts also. So Yuling Long, who's a 55, she's equaled the 102 kilo snatch world record in competition, and she's also clean and jerk sort of mid-120s. Long Zhui is also in a pretty similar position. In fact, she's a bit more of a clean and jerk specialist at a uh, sort of national competition in China. She actually opened at 125 kilos which is four kilos under the world record of 129, held by uh, Long... Oh, I can't remember her name. Lao Chiyun, that's it, I just checked. Uh, held by Lao Chiyun. So only four kilos under that, and she made it look fantastic. And then she even ended up taking attempts at 131 kilos for new world records, unofficially, but wasn't able to make them. So to have these two athletes now going up against Zulfir Chinchanlo, who has got personal bests, at least the count of 134 kilos in the clean and jerk, that was in Almaty, uh, and 98 kilos in the snatch, we've certainly got quite the battle on our hands. And the three of them are going to go head to head at the Asian Championships, which fortunately you can watch live or on demand. It's on October 9th, but the championships start on the 8th through to the 16th. Get your tickets now at weightliftinghouse.com. The link is down below.